Hello dear students. Today I am going to show you another conversion of pictorial weave into orthographic projection. So this is the given image. When you look at it clearly, so in this one a red line and mark will indicate how the image will look from front view and the green marker portions indicate the image view from the top view and blue box indicates the image view in left view without wasting time let's start this one i will open solid edge in that one i will select drawing option so in drawing option as i told earlier before drawing we have to do the sheet setup right click on sheet go to sheet setup Preferably select A4 size sheet. Click on this, uncheck the show background. Click OK, then go to fit option. So take line tool, draw a straight line. Then you look at the image. So here front view, top view, and left view we have to draw. The left view will appear on the right side. So I will start the drawing. So just look at the total length. This total length is 120 and this length is 30. So if the dimension is not clear, you just go to this one. Total length is 120. Height is 20 and this gap is 30. And here there is a 5 mm gap with angle is 90 degree in the middle. Symmetric drawing. So I will take line to enter the total length 120 click on enter so then draw a straight line of length 20 enter then this gap will be 30 as per the given image then this height you look at the image again so the total height he has mentioned 45 already we have drawn 20 so 45 minus 20 the remaining gap is 25 the remaining gap is 25 enter then draw this gap as 5 enter you can stop here so restart from this again once again the end length 20 you can enter or already it is showing dotted mark that indicates alignment you enter 20 and this gap is again 30 then this height is again 25 then this gap is 5 enter so then as we have seen the middle angle should come 90 degree as per the given sketch it is 90 degree given so we can simply draw the line and make it 90 degree or to take reference line from this to here so it will join in the middle so from the middle you join remaining points then you trim the the line that you have drawn in the middle so for ensuring i will go for dimension to angle between this line and this line i will take angle between this line so it is clear angle between the line is 90 degree that means our diagram is perfect go to fit screen option then take line to to draw the projection line just reduce the thickness of the line so front view is finished you draw projection line from the each and every point get the top view so from the tip you draw projection line so from here also you get the projection line when we look at the image from the top so these are the green boxes we can see and look at the dimension when we look from the top we can see this dimension is 45 and this dimension is 120 so outermost box already it is 120 join the line from here to here then here you take so before drawing you change the thickness of the line because projection lines over change the thickness to 0 0.5 take line to change the thickness to 0 0.5 then start 
satisfied. This length is 120 already drawn. From this tip, you enter the width as 45. Then complete the rectangle. As we have seen, we need two more projection lines from this point. So, so draw the projection line from the remaining point also. Then again you take line tool, change the thickness and dark the line. Just to complete the line carefully. Cross mark indicating the point of intersection. Line thickness should be more from this point to cross point that indicate and from the middle also you have to draw one line and point of intersection indicating cross so this is nothing but top view of the image so as in the given problem they have given left view we have to draw right side so right side i will take line then i will take from the center angle minus 45 degree enter so again you extend the projection lines from the top view as well as from the side view take this line so from this point also you take and from this point you take and from this point again you take projection line so as per the given sketch inside we we can see only two blocks bottom block and this block only blue color indicated box we can see so the dimension is clear from the image so just outline box you have to draw before drawing chain thickness of the line so that you will get a dark line it should show point of intersection so then you trim the extra projected lines as well as the lines which are not required so then take text tool and type this is nothing but front view and here you enter top view and this is side view Side view, then in each views, at least you have to show three dimensions. For that, you can take smart dimension tool, or below that one, you can take distance between. Distance between this line to this line is 20, and distance between this line to this line it is given. This is 25, total is 45. You know, then distance between again. To deselect the tool, you can just click on the right click button of your mouse. For instance, it's 45. You can mention this gap also. Right click once, then again you can select. Or once if you right click the right click, then the tool will be selected only. So just distance between these two tip is 5. In side view also, you show two dimensions you can use smart dimension tool so it will directly show you the dimension this much is enough so if you need more dimension also you can see at least the minimum you have to show three dimensions in each view so one more dimension i can show here this is 120 for the clear view you can just zoom this area but indicating all dimensions clearly thanks for watching